Everybody knows there are three big steps when launching a portfolio for the world to see. And in this lesson, we'll cover two of them, Google Site Verification, so we can control indexing, confirm ownership, and Google Analytics. Now, this is the pen penultimate lesson in our course that walks through building and launching a portfolio site from the future. And there are a lot of things we made sure we did first before this lesson, like building and launching a portfolio site from the future. Let's pick up there with verifying our portfolio on Google. This is not Google. Now we're in our project, let's go over to our project settings. From here, let's go to the SEO tab. And what we're looking for is Google Site Verification, right here. So let's click to visit Google Search Console. Now, this could look a little different depending on if you have existing sites you've verified in Google, or maybe not. But what we're looking for is the ability to add a new property. So we'll go to add property. For this example, we're going to use the www variant. So let's go https colon slash slash www.garciaux.com. And once we've typed out our URL, let's go to continue. You might not see this dialog box. Yours could auto verify depending on where your domain was purchased and where it lives. But for a lot of people, this is what they'll see. Now, one of the quickest ways to do this is to go into the HTML tag option. And all we're looking to grab is this snippet right here where it says content. So we can double click and copy our content to our clipboard that way. Or if it's difficult to select, we can copy the entire string and just paste it into a text editor. So we can grab everything between the two quotes after content. So with that copy to our clipboard, Back to Webflow, we're going to paste our site verification ID. Save changes, and of course, we want to publish our site for changes to take effect. Let's go up, publish, and we want to make sure we publish to our custom domain we just added to Google, and we'll press publish. And once we've published, let's go back to Google. In our HTML tag option, let's scroll down and make sure we can press verify. Checking verification, ownership verified. And now that we've verified, let's quickly go to our property so we can talk about indexing. And of course, once we're there, we can check. It's processing data. Please check again in a day or so. But what we really want to do is go up here to inspect any URL. So let's press this. And let's go straight for the homepage. HTTPS minus 1T colon forward slash forward slash www backspace dot Garcia UX dot com. Press return. Pretend for a moment that Stacey isn't just out of frame on Zoom laughing at that bad example of typing. And of course, we're here, URL inspection. Now, immediately the URL won't appear on Google. We can always manually request indexing when our page is changed. So we can press that here. And it's going to test if this live published URL can be indexed. And when that's done, the URL has been added to a priority crawl queue. Let's press got it. Then we can always stop there or we can test the live URL. This is great for validation, for checking to make sure things can be indexed. And one great example here is if we hit view tested page, we can take a look at the HTML that's crawled by Google. We could take a look at a screenshot of what's captured and more info. In this case, if we look in page resources, we'll see there is one image, part of the reCAPTCHA validation that doesn't show up. That image does not, nor should it show up in search results. One of the reasons we want to validate like this is so we can test our site. So we can find out, is Google able to accurately crawl everything on our site that we want it to crawl? And in this case, it's working okay. So with that being said, let's move on from Google Site Verification to Google Analytics. Back to Webflow, let's go over to Integrations. Here's where we'll enter our Google Analytics info. So let's go to Google Analytics. And once we're here, we want to create a new property. We'll make sure we're logged in. We can click this cog icon here. And your account may look different, but what you're looking for is to create a new property. So we'll create a new property. Let's name our property. We'll call it Megan Garcia UX Designer Portfolio. We'll keep this the way it is. You can always look at advanced options, but for right now, we're going to press next. Business information, industry category. Fictional is not an option. So we'll choose books and literature. Business size, small. And we intend to use Google Analytics for a few different things. Create. And once we're there, let's press web, www.garciaux.com. For stream name, let's just use Megan Garcia Portfolio. And we'll press create stream. And this is our measurement ID. This is what we want to copy to our clipboard. Of course, back in Webflow, 
We'll paste that ID right here in the universal analytics tracking ID and make sure that our global site tag is turned to yes, is flipped to yes. Let's save changes. And of course, publish to take effect. Let's publish and publish. Back to Google Analytics, we can go out. Let's go up to home. And this is where we can see our completely fictional UX designer, Megan Garcia, has absolutely no activity on her site. Until, let's view real time. And that's Greemer from his mobile phone. So we did two big things here. We claimed ownership of our portfolio on Google and we configured Google Analytics. Up next, we'll cover a critical step in maintaining our portfolio, but first, Greemer is going to come dangerously close to breaking his contract with Webflow by disclosing key internals, and we're going to do absolutely nothing to stop him. Greemer? I'm on Google Analytics for Webflow's internals right now, and in my contract, I'm forbidden from sharing these details with you. Let me just say, Webflow is getting very popular, especially among Greemer fans. There are tens of thousands of reasons you should be a Greemer fan. But something's different for this lesson. Because it was setting up Google Analytics and verification and whatever, what can you share on social? Here's what I want to see. I want to see a full page shot of any of the pages of your portfolio. Homepage, contact, whatever. And there are some great browser extensions that do this really well. Anyway, I'm seeing if I can tie in Google Analytics with my Digi Generator to create PIM particles. But I'm told I can't, mainly because of science, but also because they're fictional. Furthermore, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is property of the Walt Disney Company. All rights reserved. 